Hello everyone, this is Strist, playing Shroud of the Avatar, spiritual successor to Ultima Online. Before I get started, don't forget to subscribe. There is a button down at the bottom of the screen, so feel free to click on that. And of course, if you like what you're seeing, I appreciate all the thumbs up I get. <coughs> and of course, comment in the comment section. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I am in the process of making a video where I am crafting a higher end set of armor, complete set of armor for some of you that asked for some. And I'm at the stage where I need to go out and mine silver and ore. I'm out of that stuff. And I'm also out of all my engraving pickaxes here. So, I thought that's an opportunity for a video. I gotta go make engrave some pickaxes and I can show you why I use these ones and why they're better than the prosperity tools in my opinion. At least the prosperity axe. I have all the prosperity tools for these things. Um, but for the pickaxe, I prefer to engrave one, and here's why. <clears throat> so, the kits require two gold ingots, and uh, one gold ingot requires four chunks of uh, coal, or gold, I should say, I'm sorry. So, one, four chunks of gold will give me one gold ingot, and two gold ingots will give me one engraving kit. And I do gold because I like the bonuses I get for gold. And, uh, so, the way I look at it is this. I'm out in the, the, the fields, I'm out in the mines mining, and my first three or four or five uh, nodes I come to will give me the gold I need to pay for my next uh, pickaxe engraved. And then everything else I collect from then is all gravy, is all profit, right? And um, these pickaxes, I don't buy these pickaxes. I pick these up, these are just laying around the mines. So I pick up these, I collect a lot of these things, I have them stocked up. You can't uh, they sell them, there's no value to them, and you can't repair them when they break. But hey, they're laying around, they're free, so, you know, I use them. And so here's how we make an uh, engraving kit. We go to Alchemy Station, and uh, we go into consumables, because it is a consumable here. And let's scroll down. There's a different types of engraving kits with different stat bonuses. <clears throat> I personally prefer the gold for the pickaxes I use. So, uh, 10 mandrake root and the two gold ingots will give me one engraving kit. So, I need to make some. So, I'm going to craft one real quick. There we go. There's our two, uh, our two engraving kit, which is of gold, and we have a pickaxe there. So let's go ahead and engrave that. You just drag it and drop it like a repair kit over it, and it says, "Would you like to use the engraving kit tool to engrave this uh, tool pickaxe or something like that effect?" And we say yes, and voila, there we go. And so the stats it's going to give us is a plus thirty percent mining. Uh, gathering time bonus so basically a time uh, bonus of plus 30 percent <clears throat> the prosperity pick gives a 10 percent time bonus so already we're at 20 percent more than the prosperity pickaxe the prosperity pickaxe gives a plus three mining survey to me the mining survey is a, a not a useful uh, stat to have because i'm in the mines all the time I know exactly where all the nodes are at, and when they respawn, I know I know it. I don't need that uh, mining survey thing in my jig, so that's a wasted stat for me. The only other stat that the prosperity pickaxe gives it to me is might be moderately moderately useful is the plus three meticulous collection. But here's the thing with me: my mining, my mining skills. I have my meticulous collection grandmastered. I have my Swift Gathering gra uh, Grandmastered, and so for me, the plus 20% uh, gathering bonus is better than the plus 3 meticulous collection bonus. I can uh, I already am getting some pretty good meticulous collections on these, so my ability to burn my way through the mines and loop around, I collect more gold that way. So there we go. Quick little uh, tutorial about how to engrave a tool, in this case using the gold engraving kit. But there's other ones. There's silver. Let's see what, what other ones are available here. Let's see here. So we have the gold, which I use. We have heavy iron, which requires meteoric iron, igot, and white iron igot. So that's, that's an expensive kit, engraving kit. 
And I don't know what those stats are, but I'm going to say for the the materials that's going into that, it better be pretty darn good. But it would be a time consuming, more of a time consuming thing for me to want to mess with. Because like I said, when if I'm mining gold, I can collect my gold, grave my gold kits, and I'm good to go. It's all part of the process. So, uh, yeah, no. Silver, this one, you know what? Let's, uh, let's do a silver one real quick and see what kind of stats. I have some silver here. Let's go do that. I am curious. I have only done gold. Let's see. There's the silver. I do mine silver a lot too. So we need our two uh, silver ingots. And there we go. Oh, that's iron. That's silver right there. So we need two of those. See if it's better than the gold one. I don't know how I settled on the gold. It's been I've been doing it for a while. So there we go. Got our two gold ingots. Come over here. And center consumables. And let's go down to the gold. Or the silver. And craft that. And there's a silver one. So let's engrave this tool here with the silver. And silver gives us a 15% mining gathering time bonus and a 2% mining critical success. Hmm. So you lose half your mining speed, but you gain a critical success of a 2%. That's interesting. I might have to play with that and see. Because I don't know if that mining proficiency is worth, you know, I already have mining grandmastered. Do I need another plus 3 to it? I don't know. Um... And then we have the bronze one here, the true bronze, which requires a bronze agate and a Constantine agate. So I would hope those stats are pretty good too, because that's a time consuming thing as well. But there you go, I'm done with this tutorial. A quick little showing you what the silver agates uh, with the uh, engraving kits and the gold ones that the bonuses they get from that, and why I use the gold one. Well, I'm probably going to continue using the gold. So, anyways, this is Dritz. And don't forget to subscribe and, of course, like the video and comment in the comment section. And until next time, have a great day.